Bond is. Um, I know everyone thinks I'm a bit of a Grinch, but I, I get bored of it all. All the same old, sh- same old track. You like new stuff, don't you? I like new like Different. that. That's great. It's it's an upbeat. It's country. It's you know, it's a track you can get your head around it. I, I like it. it's different, different fresh. Yeah, there are so, as I said yesterday, um, briefly when I was on in the morning, there are some really good new Christmas tunes around. You don't have to keep playing the old stuff, even though it's good. Not knocking it, but oh, um, no. there's some new stuff Christmas! there. We've had enough of that noddy. We've been hearing it since 1928, man. Should give it a rest. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But I think, for me, for me, I, I class it as uh, being, it's lazy, lazy. It's lazy because it just, it's easy for a, a presenter or a station just to go, well, there you go. There's. Well, I think there's... for the artist, it's very it's very hard. So we want you to do a Christmas tune. So, no, I don't want to do that. And a lot of it's trying to get on round to actually do it. Because most of the time we suggest that they'd probably do it in June, July time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. really difficult now I mean, with uh, what's going on at the moment to do anything at the moment isn't it? in the studio you end up doing your live studios and things yeah. like that so yeah, yeah. so it would so what's been happening in uh santa's grotto lapland any anything interesting any cartwheeling or anything like that is anyone no, about no, this no, morning no 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 and... cartwheeling this morning there was nobody around this morning but um there's i think um there, there seem to be a few people wandering around and also on on the Facebook, we've been getting Santa Claus TV with us as well. So that's pretty cool. Get some messages from them. Yeah. Sent a message to Santa Claus yesterday. Who um, I came on briefly yesterday afternoon and live streamed Santa Claus Village on Mixcloud. That was quite interesting where they were playing some music and things like that. So I was just doing a bit of a test. Uh, as no, it's it's interesting. I, I said to Sue, we, we must visit that place because it might be ideal for me. Snow, cold, winter. Oh no, I, I, hats. I, I, you know, I, I can't be doing with it. I can't be doing. It. I'm still looking for this. I'm still looking for this folder. Kurt's jingles. There we go. It's in Kurt's jingle. Oh, here we go. Let's have a listen to this. We've got a show on the station, people. It's called Ninety Five Point Five My Balls. Um, and it beams out live on a Monday from Las Ve- live from Las Vegas, and it's a daughter and father team. It's uh, adult content. They swear a lot. They talk about all sorts of weird, wonderful things. It is absolutely brilliant. So it's on between six and eight. So it shouldn't offend you because there shouldn't be any tiddlywinks. Up the first time. time it's been aired on Dougie Stone Radio. Yeah, that <laughs> I might be the last. <laughs> and I've never not heard this. So you, you're hearing it as I'm hearing it. Let's let's see what Eddie's created. Come on. You're listening to 95.5 My Balls on Dougie Stone Radio. Live from Las Vegas. Yes, you've heard it first. Coming to you, 95.5 My Balls on Dougie Stone Radio, The Breakfast Show. There you go. I think you could do with some tweaking, but yeah, good. I thought you was going to get some Polish guy to do it for a fact. Well, I'm not at work yet, am I? Just put, just put it together. I'm disappointed. I, just, uh... I was expecting um, uh, what's name to come on, do you know what I mean? No, we got. I'm going to get Michael to do. It. He's um, he's um, thought, he's I'm, a heavyweight bodybuilder at work. He does all the competitions, and he's he's a great guy. But he's a, he he said whenever you see what you want, what are you talking about. He's one of the things that just fake. He'd be a lovely guy. I'm going to get him to do a jingle for me. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's, brilliant. Right, we'll we'll part that one because it's how we want something different. See, it's like that thing in it. I saw a bloke the other day walking down the road with a with a with a, a, a big long stick, and I went, "Are you a Paul Volta?" He went, "How did you know?" <laughs> so no, we won. Well, we I, had won a, I, had a, I had a house built with no with no steps. Oh, we got the sleighs that now. And it grew cool, isn't it? When your parents drag you on a sleigh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Eh? How lazy can you get, boys? Well, you're wonderful. Yeah. Um, it's, it's great. It's, it's been, enthralling. It's... I love it. I, I don't know. Anyway, back to the show. Oh, back hang on, to the hang show. on. We've got we've got uh, we've got someone else coming on board here. We've got a new we've got uh, Patrick, but I don't know how that's going to work with the video because hey, I've, hey, Patrick's here. I've I've got it. Oh, here we go. Let me just let me just do some adjust adjust. Oh, I can't adjust. <laughs> right. We co- hey, you you're live now, Patrick. How you doing, my friend? All good, all good, Kirk. Yourself? Yeah, introduce yourself for the people in uh, Facebook, uh, in wherever we are. Where are we? Eddie? So, uh, Dougie Stone Radio. It, yeah, my name's Patrick. Um, I was uh, invited to join the Dougie Stone movement uh, in about March, I think, when we went into uh, the great lockdown. Um, mm. Jumped on board, never looked back since, you know? Yeah, we love you having been on board. There's yourself yeah. and um, Ross, who have been, as listeners, have been fantastic for us because. We do we do this because we love it. We do it because we there's a purpose, there's a reason. But then when we get the interaction and the, uh, 
and the togetherness from the, the from listeners is wonderful, and that's what we wanted. We want we want it to be a movement. It's not just about us. It's about you know we try we try to do something a bit different, and we appreciate you being on board. It's fantastic, mate. Yeah, to get more people aboard. That's that's the name of the game, and meet different people, and different people have different tastes of music, which is that's what we love. Yeah, yeah, and I mean I I've been introducing lots of people, you know, um, over the course of the year, and. You know, I introduced one last night, you know, you were just saying, you know, I'm so bored of the mainstream radio, can't stand it, boring, boring, boring. And I said, well, give it a crack, you know, give it a try. Yeah. And um, I think he's, yeah, he's on board. So he's probably listening now. On, Brilliant. Um, Who's that? Yeah. What's his name then? Uh, Dan Webster. Dan Webster. So, uh, yeah. So, and I did invite um, one of my other friends who lives in uh, Spandam in Holland. So, uh, oh, I used to live in Holland. Yeah, yeah, he lives in Spandam, just outside um, Amsterdam. So yeah. uh, he, he lived in Holland. he lived in Holland, but he can't remember anything of him. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's well, how that... that's how you know you live there, don't you? Do you know what I mean? We, we used to we used yeah. to call it kids and beer because I was one of the older one, the oldest ones there out of the group of people that there were some older ones, but generally the guys I'm grown with were like early twenties, and I was in my early thirties, and it was kids and beer, and as you can imagine, being in Holland. It was legal, so everyone was doing the old wacky backy and get having a bit of fun. And my the guy I shared an apartment with could not get up in the morning without having a, without, without having a talk. I tell you, he used to smoke. Just needed before, it to him into the day. He used to smoke before work, <laughs> smoke after work, and I tell you what, he was the, he just used to run around like a nutcase. I was like, it doesn't make sense. This, but yeah, I I class Holland as my second home. I I adore Holland, and I nearly stayed there. But I met Sandra. She wanted to come back to the UK, so I came with her. But I was I was very close to staying. I got offered a job, and I nearly stayed in Holland because I, I just loved it. I just loved the people. I loved what it was all about, and it was just like a, a, a fresh air. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, so loving it, loving the uh, Thursday nights are really good. Love Thursday nights. Um, yeah, you had and a... I do double in double double in a bit of Monday night as well, eh? So a bit uh... of Monday night, which is Ooh. country night, which yeah. is I knew. Yeah. And see, the, this is the thing, people. I I'm now getting text messages through our message system oh seven eight two eight five two two nine nine one from Patrick's mum because Patrick now tunes into the yeah. uh, new country show. Yeah, she she has at you know this. This stage has been a saviour, really, because she listens to a lot of radio, but she's so, you know, sick to death of mainstream media and all that kind of rubbish. And she's just had enough of radio, switched it off. I told her to give her, give this a go, and she absolutely loves it. And that's she what has we want to do. Day. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, it was back in March. We don't talk, we don't talk, we, know, we took the news off and we took COVID off. And my wife said to me, she says, That's crazy. Why are you doing that? People want to know. I says, Have you seen how much is out there? You know, you've got it on the mainstream TV, it's on the radio. It's, we, I want to be a bit different. We, we can't. I can't. We can't compete with the the big boys, can we? The big. Do you know what I mean? We can't compete. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're, we've not got. Yeah. A, we've not got a journalist <laughs> journalist team around us. So let's let's dump it all and and be a haven for people who want to get away from it. Yeah. And there's, I, a, there's a there's def, a there's a definite market out there, though, Kurt, for this for this yeah. radio. You know, there is a big. You know, I think because people want to just switch off from the outside world. Yeah. And they and they and, yeah. they, and they want to just listen to all different types of music that's going on, you know, and it's, I think it's, you've definitely got the right mix, you know. Well, I think that's the idea of getting the, the artists that don't get played. One of the things we get loads of submissions from great artists, their music is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get played on any other radio station and we're playing it and we get some really great thanks for, for supporting them and promoting them as well. But it's, it's good. And it's nice to get new music on the station as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. So, I mean, my, my my eyes have definitely definitely been open to different music, you know. Wonderful, that's I mean, great because you're a big reggae fan, aren't you? you you're one of Dan's yeah, listeners, which is yeah. great for me. I've ended up poaching yeah. some of Dan's listeners. I put a post on yesterday, and and it, if there's any friends out and it says it's my it's my favourite show on the station. Uh, don't tell any other presenters, and you shouldn't have any favourites, but I do. It's my favourite show. And all those people out there that go, I don't have any favourite kids. Yes, you do. You're lying. Boops! Because you are, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? You all have a favourite kid yeah, yeah, yeah. and a favourite... So for me, Dan's it is... Because I, I, what I love reggae, and I, I used to love punk rock, but reggae and ska and stuff like that was my, my music when I was growing up. That's the stuff that I really, really liked. So... Uh, and Dan produces just the most amazing show ever. I, I say it's our flagship show on the station. If yeah. any presenters, I, what, you I, know what I mean? I just still don't know how, how does he get the numbers of these, some of these artists to get on the show? I just, he must have a little magic black book in his pocket. <laughs> I know, think, I think he, that. No, do you know what I think he is? I think he's just a frigging pain in the ass. I think he just keeps fucking mad. Stalker. Him. 
<laughs> but, then, people. but at the end of the day he, he was in a band i think he was in a band so he does know one or two people and i think what what happens as well and this is the thing with, with the station is say you go and get like he's had brian travers on you've got brian travers on your show and you go to whoever name another artist protege or whoever and say uh come on my little show yeah, okay. I've had Brian Travers on, and I've had Bit McLean on. And I've had so what happens is his first one is difficult, and as it gets going, I think he spends a lot of time getting these artists mm. on. And it's not like a, he rings them up and goes, "You want to come on my show?" Yeah, I'll be on tonight. I yeah. think, I yeah, think he works it a lot. He yeah, does, I think yeah. he does work it a lot. Definitely. And Dan's quite clever. Well, he's, he's good. He does a lot of research. But when the guys, when he's interviewing the artists as well, he, he knows what he's talking about. Dan does as well because he he can come up with names. Oh, you've done this with that person. You've done that with that person. You can see the bloke who's talking to thinking this bloke knows what he's talking about. He's, he's not just, just phoning me up and just for a chat. He's done the research. He knows the music, and that's the best thing about it. Right. Yeah. Let, let's yeah. let's play a track. If you want to stay with us, we'll play a track, because people don't want to listen to us droning all day. They want to... Are we having a reggae true, Christmas true, tune, are we? Very true. Do, 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 what, is there any track you, that comes to mind, uh, Patrick? Well, actually, you're going to be surprised about this one. I would like to hear... Luke Coombs, it oh. never rains at Bournemouth. Oh, this is uh, you've, you've like that's my one of my old. Been songs. converted. Oh, it's you know what? I uh, there's a little video of me singing to this last year with my lad and was barbecuing for him for breakfast uh, after we'd been to after we'd been to uh, Country Music Awards, and I just adore this track. I think the lyrics in it are brilliant. It's fun. Um, are you going to stay with us? You going to stay with us after this? We'll we'll, we'll talk to you yeah, right after yeah. this track. Listen, people, we'll be right back.